This thing feels beefy. Beefy. I've been wondering lately if uh, Dave's gonna start whining about not having a performance car. But I sort of miss uh, having a sportier feeling of the car. Is this the test drive? They're just sitting in the rain. <laughs> it's like a It's not terrible. It's yeah. it actually is not terrible. So this is the other vehicle Jay decided to drive today. At least it's somewhat more decent of a BMW. 2015 BMW M5, uh, 28K on 28, it. 28,000, yeah. 28,000 miles on it. Um, running high 40s, low 50s, ish. Depending on the quality. I mean, yeah. this one's in okay shape. So. Um, For being six years old. 28,000 miles. I mean, yeah, it's hardly been driven. Cuban Fibre. <laughs> no? Yeah, Cuban Fibre. <laughs> um, Is that a new character in a movie? Yeah, so of course Jay picked a nice rainy day to test drive this thing. Jay driving the M5. <laughs> Could I get used to this? Probably. But my gosh, it's a lot of car. All right, M5 on the road. 500 <laughs> horses, five, no, 560 horses, 500 torque. Uh, those are the numbers. Everybody loves the numbers. Um, this just looks, I mean, it, it looks a little bit better. Yeah, actually it does. <laughs> the inside feels a little bit more natural, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I have it's still the sort of the same feeling as the as the three series. Everything's ever the dash feels like it's a little bit closer. The dash seems a little bit short. Mm -hmm. I'm used to look how like not deep this is and look right. how like the close right. the I mean because the you know the GTI, I mean I'm I'm used to the GTI which actually has the rake on the window is a lot more, so it actually came back further. Let's let's pull this thing over somewhere, figure out what we need to do, and then we're gonna put go. the navigation into use. I don't want to put the navigation into use. <laughs> I'm not buying it for the navigation. Well, I haven't seen you use the gas pedal yet. <laughs> we all been sitting here waiting on you to floor it. <sighs> oh God! The fact that this thing is three years older mm -hmm. than the 340. Everything in here is very similar. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's got a similar feel. Yeah. I think the, the, the size difference gives it a little more room to actually feel a little more natural and it's, you know, a little bit more flow to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the obviously, this is a lot more money. The material are a lot better. But not by a whole lot. Not enough to make me go, oh, it's night and day. Right. Um, a little things there are a few little things that are make me go that's that's much better increase um so what you get for the money in these in this thing i'm i'm i mean it's a 500 horsepower car yeah um and you're buying a used one and it's kind of like Ooh. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and if you, but the thing about it is, is you have to like the way that it drives. You have to like the way it drives. You gotta, you gotta be, you have to like the, the all the power. You gotta like the rear wheel drive, because if you, if you just tromp with this thing just a little bit, you're gonna get sideways. Especially with the race tires that are on it. <laughs> Stop.